Hi, my name is Ellie Ray. I use they or he pronouns, and I am now 356 days sober. I'm coming up on a year. Very, very close. January 13th. My partner re reminded me of something yesterday, which was that yesterday, or a little bit into the day prior, because I stayed up late, a year ago I started relapsing. I had gotten five months sober from August 2018 to around December, but to be honest, there were some slip-ups in there of drinking vanilla extract on accident. Um, it, it, it's one of those things that I'm okay with admitting now because these little bumps were part of my sobriety, part of me figuring it out. I don't know if I would have gotten to a year if I hadn't stumbled in those five months and if I hadn't I definitely wouldn't be sober now if I hadn't relapsed a year ago yesterday I remember everything that leads up to it and all I can say is that it was lack of support it was still being in toxic relationships in toxic environments with toxic people cutting my birth family out of my life was one of the best things I've done for my sobriety. Going back to treatment and finding more friends, being more open in the comedy community and the improv community, and being open to falling in love with someone who is my best friend. All of these things helped. I didn't have, last year, I didn't have the support, I didn't have health insurance. I didn't know that my health insurance had lapsed, and so I was completely out of medication, and at that point I was taking lithium, which you're really not supposed to just stop cold turkey. And I was too worked up to go through that process by myself. I was completely alone, and I felt terrible about myself. And I relapsed. I look at those 13 days in January of 2019 and just see someone who was willing to die and who was, on the, who, was, who was willing to give up this whole struggle because those five months of sobriety were really hard for me to get and three of them were spent in frickin' rehab. Like, there were times in rehab where I had to give my ID away or my money because I knew how to sneak onto the, sneak into the gas station that was like kind of kitty corner to Pride, which is where I was at the time, and I knew other people did this all the time, where they would sneak out and go to the gas station to buy cigarettes when they were out. And I knew that I, I, the only beer that I could get, because it's Minnesota, would be 3.2, but I figured, hey, I haven't drank in two months at this point. I at least would get some sort of buzz. I would get some sort of emotional relief. This is why treatment was the best option for me, was because it was a place where I could be locked down in a place and watched by people and, yes, labeled a vulnerable adult so that I, you know, had to give up a lot of my rights and independence in order to get sober. That's one of the shitty things about this process is you have to give up a lot of independence and then find something inside of you that's able to completely step forward and take care of everything once you're out of, you know, the immediate watch of other people. And even in treatment, I didn't know this at the time, but people were sneaking in drugs. There was meth being had. Someone found meth in a book. Like, there was a carved out book in the Pride Library, and someone had just left a bag of meth there. This is all to say that this is the hardest freaking thing <laughs> that I've ever done, and one of the hardest things that I think anyone could ever do is to get sober when I've spent so many years, almost a decade and a half of my life, devoted to drinking every single day. And I'm terrified, to be honest, I'm still terrified I'm not gonna get to January 13th sober. This is a really, really painful process, and it really is one day at a time. So I'm kind of letting myself do whatever needs to be done in the days leading up to my year's sobriety. I can't believe this is going to happen. And I'm pretty sure, I mean, knock on wood or whatever, I'll knock on my pork. I, 
I think I'm going to get to a year. Breathe in, breathe out. If I don't, I'm going to be honest on these videos because that's what these videos were about, were, was to be as honest as possible about how painful and hard this process is. Let's hope I get there. Stay sober.